Welcome back to the Mars Punch in the Face video blog. And guess what? These segments are usually scripted, but today we're going off script. We're going guerrilla style. That's right. There's nothing on these. We don't need a stinking script. We don't care. It's anarchy here on a Punch in the Face video blog. And today's topic is Strike Force. I Grim, quit being a dick, not that Strike Force. That's right, that Strike Force. And tonight's main event, which is incumbent bantamweight champion Rowdy Ronda Rousey against former champion and now challenger Victoria BC's own Sarah Kaufman. And first of all, good on you, Strike Force, for having another main event featuring women. Very, very good job pushing the, the sport of women's MMA forward. Now let's break this sucker down. First of all, let's look at the challenger, Sarah Kaufman. Power puncher, physically powerful, a lot of muscle on this girl, and she's got the energy to go into the deep water. And one thing I want to point out about Sarah, every time I'm teaching classes at my home club of FKP MMA, I always tell people, watch Sarah Kaufman's footwork. Among the best in the MMA business, always firmly rooted, ready to throw power shots and defend the takedown. So in the striking aspect, I say Sarah Kaufman's got the advantage. Now let's look at grappling where I favor the champ. Ronda Rousey is an Olympic level judoka and the words Olympic level they get thrown around a lot like the words world class or elite level but really in this case Ronda Rousey shows us what Olympic level means. Sick clinching game, sick throwing game, and her Nawaza is no crap either. I mean, when she's on the ground, she's been snapping arms off left, right, and center. So I think if it goes into the grappling realm, either standing up or on the ground, it favors Rowdy Ronda Rousey. Who am I picking to press their advantage? I'm going with the champ. I think that Rousey's camp is not dumb. I think they've noticed she's been getting punched in the face a lot in the past, and they've got her working on her head movement, finding ways to get inside. And once she gets her hands on Sarah, Kaufman, it's going to be a bad night for Sarah. And if I'm wrong, hey, I'm happy then too, because that means Sarah Kaufman's bringing the Strike Force title right back home to Canada. Okay, before I move on, I do want to bring up one thing about Strike Force that I think, I hope it's a lesson they learned in the future. It's a mistake they've made in the past during the build for the groundbreaking Cyborg versus Gina Carano fight, where they took a marketable fighter, in that case Cyborg, and buried her on the undercard. They've done the same thing with former champion Misha Tate. In her first fight back since losing the title, she's buried on the undercard too. That's telling the fans that she's not really worth caring about that much. It makes it tougher to hype a fight with her in the future. She's a marketable girl, Strike Force. Don't cut her legs out from underneath her. That would be like taking Cain Velasquez right after he lost the UFC title to Junior Dos Santos and putting him on the freaking Facebook fights. Doesn't make any sense. Please don't do it a third time. Okay, now let's get to the really good stuff, which is free swag for you. It's another edition of the Mullers Punch in the Face Trivia Challenge. And before we get to this segment, I want to congratulate the winner of the last one, which is, uh, forgive me while I duck out a shot, Mr. Ben He... Uh, uh, ben He... This guy, who won a free t-shirt from Roots of Fight and a free item from the Fusion Bodybuilding Supplement line. Same prizes on the line today. Plus... If you go to Roots of Fight and you don't quite see a t-shirt you like, which would be stupid because they're awesome, you can go to LancasterLimited.com. That's LancasterLTD.com. They got awesome stuff over there too. They got retro Atari stuff and Evil Knievel and Elvis Presley. Between the two of them, you'll find something you like. And today's question, just like today's topic, involves female MMA. I want you to tell me who the two combatants were in the first ever female mixed martial arts fight in North American history, in a large-scale professional promotion. I'm not talking about a warehouse fight where two girls might have got paid 20 bucks to bust each other's melons. This has to be a recognized professional group. First two women in the first ever professional fight, send it to the contact link. One week from today, I'm gonna to draw a winner from all the correct entries and you get your prize from Fusion Bodybuilding and Roots of Fight or Lancaster Limited. Ready, steady, go! And until next time, this is Paul the Mullah Lazenby, me thank Infusion Bodybuilding, thank you Roots of Fight, thank you Lancaster Limited, thank you Corey Grimm for putting this together, and wishing you happiness, health, and a punch in a face!